when the British Royal Air Force was just beginning, two twin flyboys sought to soar above and defend the skies. But their first flight was quite a disaster, and they continued to crash, and crash, and crash, and of course, crash. Could it be possible that God would now use their special talents in the remotest place on Earth? Journey with us now to their island getaway to see what has become of the long-lost Banzai brothers and see the wonders that God can do. Make way, make way, coming through here, here we go. <laughs> hello everyone, hello, hello the small humans, <laughs> here we go. Colonel Bonsai here. I just flew in from the Fiji Islands, and boy, are my arms tired! <laughs> Get it? Cause of the, with the, no? All right, that's fine. <laughs> Anyways, I crash landed my plane on the other side of the island, and I seem to have lost contact with my brother Chauncey. Uh, have you seen him anywhere? No. was quite a drop. Fortunately for me, I landed on my head. Oh, hello, Brother Chauncey. <laughs> hello, Colonel Bonsai. <laughs> I say, Algy, what are you doing way down there? Don't tell me you landed on the landing strip. <laughs> Heavens no. I crashed in the ocean on the other side of the island. Ah, oh, yes, you always did love the water. Well, I am an excellent swimmer, of course. <laughs> oh, and speaking of water, I believe today's Bible lesson is all about water. You don't say. I do say. Let me come right down and I'll tell you all about it in just a moment. All right, come on down. Oh, my brother always has the best stories to share with us. <laughs> I'm yes. so excited. Ha -ha. I stopped at flight command on my way back from dropping off the missionary supplies. And I have here in my hand today's Bible scripture. <laughs> well, open it up, Chauncey. Just a moment there, Algy. First, allow us to introduce ourselves to oh, yes. the children. Hello, I am Colonel Bonsai. And I am Colonel Bonsai. <laughs> oh, uh, Colonel Algernon Bonsai to be exact. And this is my twin brother, Colonel Chauncey Bonsai. We are pilots, former Air Force pilots. Yes, and when we retired, we became missionary pilots. Yes, and now we fly supplies to missionaries all over the world. Uh -huh. And we do mean all over the world. <laughs> we go to places that other pilots are far too smart to go to. Yes, and along the way, we collect Bible stories from around the globe. Yes, oh, say Chauncey. Yes. Why don't we open up one right now? Capital idea. <laughs> yes. Now, where is that, that Bible? Bible, at? yes. Uh, well, maybe the monkey knows. Some monkey, have you Hello, seen is the it Bible? Back here? No. Have book. you guys seen the Bible? <laughs> what? Uh, Chauncey, it's in the Bible box. Oh, of course. Of course it is. <laughs> I believe in ah, God. There it is. Here we go. Oh, yes. Ha <laughs> ha. Love this. Oh, let us look in the book of John, chapter 2. Mm -hmm. Now, children, this is the story of the very first miracle of Jesus, the wedding at Cana. Uh, you see, Jesus and his mother Mary and his friends, the disciples, were all invited to a wonderful wedding. Oh, I do love a good wedding. Yes. <laughs> the food mm. and the dancing and the cake. It's just that weddings always make me cry! <laughs> Cheer up there, Algy. Cheer up. So weddings sad. are supposed to be special occasions. Oh, yes. oh, especially when we toast the bride and groom. Oh, yes. But at this particular wedding, there was a problem. <gasps> The wine ran out too soon. Say it isn't so. Well, what did they do? Ah, the better question is, what did Jesus do? Oh, yes. You see, there were six stone jars nearby, and Jesus told the servants to fill all six jars with water. Then he told the lead servant to serve that water to the master. 
And when the master of the house tasted that water, it had turned into the most delicious wine he tasted all night long. The Bible says, this, the first of his miraculous signs, Jesus performed in Cana of Galilee. He thus revealed his glory, and his disciples put their faith in him. Oh, my. Oh, that story is full of wonder. Well, we do serve the God of wonders. <laughs> that is true. But... I wonder how the people felt. Uh, you see, the Bible says they put their faith in him. But hadn't they already put their faith in him? Ah, well, you see, up until that time, they liked Jesus quite a little bit. In fact, they even trusted him or they wouldn't have been following him. That's true. But that day, they saw something special. They saw Jesus do something that only God could do. <laughs> a wondrous miracle. A Amen. And that was when they realized that he was more than who they first thought he was. He was more than just a good teacher and a godly man. This miracle revealed his glory. Glory. You see, that's something that shows how great God is. When he turned the water into wine, it showed that Jesus was Lord. Is that why they put their faith in him? Absolutely. And you know, children, we can do the very same thing. We could put our faith in Jesus because Jesus did so many miracles in his lifetime. And this year, we are going to be studying the God of wonders and learning about all of his miracles. <laughs> oh, yes. And just like the disciples, we will learn that we serve a mighty God. In fact, <clears throat> it's incredible but true. What the God of Wonders can do. Oh, I like <laughs> that. I do like that quite a little bit. Let's all do it together. I think he's up. It's, it's incredible, incredible but true what the God, God of Wonders, wonders can do. do. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, Chauncey, we best be going. We have to get those medical supplies to the missionaries in Namibia. righty -o. And on the way back, we can stop and pick up more wondrous Bible stories. <laughs> oh, good show, Chauncey. <laughs> all right, drop in next week, kids, to learn about another miracle in the life of Jesus. Yes, and we'll never run out of the great things that he has done. <laughs> Tally-ho! Tally-ho! Bye-bye! <laughs> right this way, here we go. This way, Algie. Ah, yes. Yes, of course. <laughs>